Alrighty boys, so my last SCP roleplay video, I showed you some cool tricks to use to escape. Now what if I told you I know some illegal ways of escaping the facility? Oh yeah, by the way, I believe these ways are pretty illegal, so you might get a punishment. Devs, if you're watching this just for content purposes. So guys, enough talking, enjoy the video. Alrighty boys, so we are here in SCP roleplay. And guys, let's go to this roleplay button and let's just spawn as a regular class D, no need to be upgraded or anything. And boys, escaping a foundation is one thing, however, escaping a foundation illegally is another. And you know what? I'm not going to waste any time, let me just show you my first illegal method of escaping. Okay, so the first illegal way of escaping is pretty easy. I'm like 90% sure a lot of people have done this, but pretty much you want to ask an O5 or AD to make you a janitor. And after you become a janitor, you sort of have just escaped. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, I only have a Glock 17, I pretty much have no weapons. I'm gonna try to go up to this person over here and say, Hey, I'm gonna ask this person, can I be a janitor? I think these people knew who I am. Um, yes, hello there, people. And this is the person just left, dude. Oh, let me go up to this guy. Yes, can I please be a janitor, Mr. 05? Nice. Oh, look, I'm a janitor now, hell yeah. Okay, so after I become a janitor, I think you guys know what to do here. Which, by the way, I'm pretty sure this is, like, against the rules to become a janitor, and then the next thing you know, you just, like, escape. Matter of fact, let me actually go this way to Sector 3, pretend I'm actually sweeping a facility. And by the way, you can actually do this thing without using any sort of weapons, because, like, you're, you're clearly a janitor, right? But, like, yeah, let me just, uh, guys, I'm just cleaning the floors here, I'm not, uh, I'm not trying to escape or anything like that, look at me. Yes, yeah, sir, there, there's absolutely nothing, I got one credit for cleaning. I'm trying to wait for, like, the right opportunity to actually leave, I'm gonna try to, uh, go to the transfer room. I got a pizza here! Oh, and there's a nuclear warhead right now. That's actually kind of bad. Let's leave, like, right now. Yeah, you know what? Let's click to the store as well. Pretend there's no nuke. Pretend I'm just escaping my very slow clicker. Like, guys, let's be real. A bunch of people already did this, like, once in their lifetime. So let me just go over here and, uh, go to the Chaos Uncertainty spawn, and it looks like I actually died. But that's fine, though. Me dying there is actually pretty cool. Wait, am I technically a janitor or something? And dude, I have this Neek music muted, bro. Yeah, you know what? Let me actually join a different server, show you my second method of escaping. So let's just do that. On to the next method. Okay, so the second illegal way of escaping is actually method from my last video. Now pretty much you want to get into the bathrooms. Then you want to choose your camera angle so it goes through the wall. Then afterwards, you're out of there. Okay, boys, so we are here in a new server right now. Which technically I showed you guys the second method, but like it's more like where to go and then I'll show you what to do. So yeah, let me just go over here to my boy Jerry, get it like a Scar H like so. We're trying to get to that one area, that one bathroom, um, sir, did I knock this guy over or something? I don't know. But yeah, I think one way of actually getting there is trying to get tests done, and then next thing you know, you turn on the, the scientist. There's actually a scientist right over here, yes, hello there, sir. S question mark? And there we go, we're getting authorized. Yeah, so this is the part where you try to lead the scientist where to go, you don't, you don't let, uh, you don't let the scientist lead you, right? I'm gonna tell this guy to go 066, so then uh, he thinks we're just going on a test. Um, sir, where are you going? Bro. Okay, you know what, never mind. I'll just get this person, let's go. Yeah, let's go over here, and then uh, go in this room. We're gonna open this door, right? Then we're gonna hide behind this one uh, cabinet thingy. It's not even a cabinet, but like, whatever this thing is. But pretty much, we're just trying to hear for footsteps. We're gonna try to hear of, uh, we see people come here. Ooh. This guy's literally getting tested on as we're in here. Dude, I don't think anyone knows we're in this place besides maybe this guy if he can see me. Yo, nobody sees me here, right? I I I'm just in this corner. Please do not see me. <laughs> Bro, these guards, there's so many people in this area. Please get out of here. Please finish your test. Yes, get out of here, please. Oh my goodness. And Mr. Scientist, uh, he he's probably defenseless. J j just stay there. Oh, there's a guy down there. There's a guy down there. Let me shoot that camera. Shooting the camera might be smart though, so then no one can see it, right? Look, it's all sparkling and everything. Dude, I need these people to get out of here. Class D, please go that way. I have a really good feeling this guy's doing my force method and he's trying to escape here. <laughs> like, bro, that was actually so funny. This Class D's trying to escape, but these guys are camping him. <laughs> but look, this guy's just chilling there. Dude, these people are just chilling there. You guys think they'll see me? I don't think they're gonna see me if I go here, right? I don't think they're gonna see me. I think I'm good. So that being said, let me actually show you how to escape this place. Uh, I'll show you like right now. Alright, so here's how to escape once you're actually in the bathrooms area. What you want to do is activate explosive through this wall, but it might be kind of tricky, and I'll show you. So first things first, you just zoom in, then zoom out one time. Then you want to go into the middle of this wall here, then position your camera like so. And then afterwards, you're going to try to aim your camera perspective so then it goes like this. And in there you can see the explosive. 
Then you just click on explosive. Perfect. And guys, if you watched my last video, you already know about this thing. But guys, please stay because I'm showing you another illegal way coming soon. But anyways, boys, back to the video. Okay, so yeah, let's go over here. Zoom out one time. Let's go to this wall. Do this. Let's uh, slowly put our camera here. Then click this explosive. There we go. And then we're out of here. Let's go. And oh my goodness, boys, we actually made it. That took so much time, by the way. I'm not gonna lie, that was actually kind of scary. Just waiting for everyone to like get out of the place. But anyways, boys, let's actually go over here and uh, and then escape to the Chaos Uncertainty spawn. But anyways, boys, I'm not gonna ride against the foundation or anything. And wait a minute, bro, this was the class D that I'm talking about, bro. This class D Jatter actually made it out, man. But before I show you guys my third method, let me just show you something funny. So as you can see, you can kind of like walk in this water here, but if you walk in this water... I think your guy swims in and drowns or something, I don't know. But anyways boys, enough yapping, let me show you my third method. Okay, so this is the last illegal way of escaping, requires you to be inside the medical sector, which might be hard to get into. Once you're here, I'll show you what to do, but first, let me show you how to even get there my way. Oh yeah, let me buy a Scar H right over here, which guys, the Scar H will be pretty handy, I don't think you really need it. So what you want to do is open this door, right? But you're going to try to time this door. As it closes, like so, you're going to try to walk through. Let's we'll say this person might be distracted or something, so you know what? Let me just, uh... Oh, he's not getting distracted! He's getting shot! Okay! So yeah, after you time the door, you keep going to this, uh, this area. Let's open this thing like so. I think we should be good. And, uh... Oh, there's actually a guy following me! Okay, so yeah, you go to this medical sector, right? You're getting chased by this guy here. You follow my route. Keep following my route. You want to go inside this x-ray laboratory, right? And you want to go inside this x-ray laboratory, then go over here and then sit down on this chair, and then you want to run! Oh my goodness, guys, I made it. Guys, I'm here in this area. I don't think this person knows that I'm here. He, thinks, he probably thinks I'm a wizard or something. So with that being said, let me show you how to actually escape after you get here. Alrighty, boys, so once you're in this medical area, you want to go to that door over there. And before that, I want to say like one thing, which is about these chairs here. So as you can see, you can actually sit on these chairs here, like, you know, like a regular, uh, like a chair. However, one thing that might surprise you is that you can actually sit through the chairs through the wall, so that's why I went to this area, right? But you can pretty much use any chair, you can just uh, wedge your way here, boom, you just sit through like a, just sit through, right? But this thing is pretty cool, but guys, let's go back over here, and here's the method that I'll show you. This thing is actually kind of crazy. This thing took a lot of time to discover, by the way, so please like and sub. So for this method to work, you don't zoom out once, but you zoom out all the way. Then afterwards, you want to look at this cover, then jump on top of it. You want to face this wall here, and you want to position your feet so like it's uh, between this like pole here. Then afterwards, you want to bring your camera up like so, then bring it over to the right. And you guys see where this uh, like this line here is? You kind of want to center that with your like your. Uh, you want to go to the side of it, so then like it's kind of center, not really. But guys, pretty much you're gonna try to position your camera so then it goes up like so. Then afterwards, you guys might be thinking, what do you do after? Well, if you position your mouse over here, as you can see, you can click on something. Then afterwards, you want to click this thing 50 times, because it does take 50 clicks. And here comes the tricky part, is actually just get up there. Now for me, a run and jump actually works best, so let's try to do a run and jump at the same time. There we go. And by the way, this thing does take a little bit of practice to do, especially with the camera mechanic thingy. And also trying to get up here, because as you can see, there is a cooldown active, this thing does regenerate. So that being said, boys, let's get back to the video. Okay guys, this is some illegal tactics. Let's actually, uh, let's just uh, click on this door right there. We're gonna wait until this door closes, so then no one thinks we're in this area, right? Or no one like spots us out. But yeah, the first method, how you have to zoom out once. This one just zoom out uh, fully. Let's then go over here, try to line us up like so. And then we want to position our camera, so then we see like this thing. We're trying to get it like so, right? And now you can click that. So yeah, after you click that, here comes the tricky part. You're gonna try to uh, run and jump like so, then you get up. And then, dude, afterwards, you go inside this Chaos Uncertainty spawn. And then from here, it's all uphill, you pretty much escape. Which, by the way, this is actually an insane way of escaping. I don't think I've ever seen anyone escape through that route. And yes, hello there, Mr. Chaos Uncertainty. I actually escaped. And guys, look at that. You escaped through the Chaos Uncertainty. But guys, please like and sub. I showed you guys some illegal methods. Uh, yeah, I'll see you next video.